Two pedestrians were killed, five other people injured in an early morning crash in Inwood. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge is live at the scene with reaction. Natalie? Cindy, Mary, the two men killed were well known here in the neighborhood. A crowd of family and friends have gathered here. Community members, they have been here throughout the morning, paying their respects, setting up a memorial with candles, cards, flowers, and tell us life can change in an instant. He was getting a haircut. He was with the barber. The, the two that died, they were together. He just finished seeing his barber and they walked down the street and we're at the wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. Family of a 31 year old man killed says his cousin was getting an early morning haircut to look fresh for a birthday celebration later today. Friends say he and his barber were walking down the sidewalk not far from the barber shop when they were caught up in a series of collisions. At uh, four in the morning, the loud, the loud accident, the loud crash woke me up, and I looked out the window, and I saw, uh, I guess, bystanders running over to the accident. Police say a BMW was driving northbound on Sherman near 207th Street around 4 a.m. when they believe it swerved into southbound lanes, colliding with a Subaru. Five occupants between the two cars were injured, three critical too stable. The impact sent the cars into several other parked vehicles. The Subaru went up onto the sidewalk, careening into the two pedestrians, killing them. One, a well-known barber in the area, who friends say was 40, who you could always call at all hours of the day for an appointment. He was my barber too since I was young. We all used to go to him. He was the best salsa dancer. That's one thing about him. Like when it came to dancing, he was a professional. One of the nicest kids in the neighborhood. Everybody know him. Family says the other man, the 31 year old, worked as a delivery driver and recently applied to the MTA. He had a one year old daughter. The best kid I ever met. Neighbors say they've been asking the city to make this stretch of road safer. Many people in this community had tried to request adding speed bumps on Sherman Avenue, but apparently the street is too wide to add the speed bumps, so um, they're looking into adding maybe another speed camera. Now you can see the community has really turned out here to pay their respects. There are dozens of people here. Two of the cars towed were uh, involved were just towed. Two of them do remain on the scene here. There's no word yet whether alcohol or speed were a factor. We are live in Inwood. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Natalie, thank you.